there, homeschooling community. I'm Kat from Homeschooling VNZ. And in this video, I'll be answering the first assignment for the virtual homeschool co-op. And the question is, how structured or relaxed is your homeschool? Now, um, it's hard to say if we are relaxed or structured just by that question. So, uh, we were given three things to check and to rate from 1 to 10 with 10 as, as relaxed to 10 as highly structured. Okay. So, I'll go through each one of them. The first is curriculum. <clears throat> so, I think I would rate our homeschool as a 7. Um, we are under a homeschool provider and we follow the, the school calendar of the homeschool provider. We also use um, around 98% of the curriculum roadmap that we got from our provider mm -hmm. and we add <laughs> that's my son and we add um, a few subjects electives um, every now and then so let's say we are a seven um, we are leading towards a structured curriculum for, for our homeschool year okay the next item is daily routine. Um, I think we are a one on this. We are a one. We don't have a daily routine. Um, we started the school year following a schedule. It's it's a weekly schedule. Just um, I just listed down the subjects that we're going to discuss per day. That's it. But we don't have a particular time or how many minutes we're going. To spend on a subject we don't have that um, I think it's really hard to have a structure right now to have a routine especially that uh, our world revolves around the toddler so it depends when she takes a nap when are we going to have free time um, it really depends so sometimes uh, mom life happens and uh, right now, we just try to do homeschool as much as we can whenever there's time to do it. So we are really relaxed. We don't have a routine for our homeschool. Next is homeschool space. Um, we live in a very small house. It's a one-bedroom house. So we don't have a homeschool room. Um, before here, I used an old crib, baby crib. And... Um, we used it, repurposed it into a learning table or study table, but I had to take it down too because of the lack of space. So right now, um, all of our stuffs, our homeschool stuffs, are just placed here. Um, this is a, a book shelf, and then behind it is um, it's just our just the shelves for for our homeschool uh, materials, and then some are here on the. Uh, shelf for my for my daughter for the daughter so we homeschool we do our activities um, a lot of times on the dining table uh, sometimes we do it on the bed uh, sometimes on the floor <laughs> sometimes we are out so we really don't have a specific place as to where we homeschool so I would say we have like a <laughs> I'd say it's a two for, for we are really relaxed when it comes to homeschool. We, we, we only have a space for our stuffs, but we do our activities everywhere in the house or outside the house. So, there. So, in summary, I think you have a seven, a one, and a two. We are a very relaxed homeschool. Because in an average, I think that's just a three, right? So, so we are a very relaxed homeschool for this school year and it I think it's it's a good way it's a uh, I think it's better this way that we are relaxed because um, the kids are still young so probably in the next few years will be more structured as we go along this journey so that's our first assignment for the virtual homeschool co-op and if you'd like to learn more about the community of VHC I'll put on the link in the description box for the website and the YouTube channel of, of Trish. Okay, so until then, thanks, bye!